pure drama. Once in Ayodhya, there lived a king named Dashrath. He was a great devotee. He had three wives, Kaushalya, Kekai, and Sumitra. But he did not have any child. So he went to sage Vashishtha. The sage suggested him to do a Putreshti Yagya. During the Yagya, Lord Agni appeared before Dashrath. He gave a bowl of payasam to the king to be fed by his three queens. The king gave half payasam to Kaushalya and half to Kekai. The two wives divided their share into half and each gave its half portion to Sumitra. Some days later, the three queens were pregnant. On the ninth day of Chetrai month, the first son was born to Kaushalya during afternoon. This son was an incarnation of Lord Vishnu. The whole Ayodhya, the king, the queens and the maids were very happy. The gods started showering flowers from the heavens to express their joy at the birth of the Lord. Then Kekai also gave birth to a son while Sumitra gave birth to two sons at the same time. Ayodhya was decorated in happiness. Everyone in Ayodhya and the gods in the heavens blessed the four sons of Dashrath. This way the four princes of Ayodhya were born. Princes get their names. King Dashrath was very happy at the birth of his sons. In his happiness, the king distributed desired gifts among the people of Ayodhya and to those who came to him to ask for something. The king and the queens were enjoying the best part of their life with the princes. Many days passed like this and now the time had arrived for the princes to receive their names. Dashrath called Sage Vashishta to his palace. When the sage arrived, the king greeted him warmly and welcomed him to the palace. Dashrath then asked him to name his four sons according to the sage's desire. The sage thought over the matter and then suggested that the eldest son of the king born to his queen Kaushalya should be named Rama. The son born to the king's dearest queen Kekai should be named Bharata. The youngest queen Sumitra had two sons out of which the elder one should be called Lakshman while the youngest of all the princes should be called Shatrugan. Then the sage blessed the four princes and left the palace. This way the four princes of Ayodhya began to be called by the names given by sage Vashishta. Rama eats Prasad One day, when Lord Rama was a baby, Mother Kaushalya bathed him, dressed him in a beautiful dress and ornaments. After this, she made Rama lie in the cradle. Then she took a bath herself and went to worship the Lord. After the worship, she offered Prasad to the Lord. When she was done with the offerings, she went to the palace kitchen to do some of her routine work. After completing her work, she again went back to the place where she was worshipping the Lord. There, she saw that her son Rama was eating the prasad that she had offered to the Lord. Kaushalya was surprised as she had put Rama in the cradle. When she went near the cradle, she was even more surprised as Rama was still lying in the cradle. Then again, she went back to the place of worship and saw Rama eating prasad there. Kaushalya was very much troubled and could not believe her eyes. Shai Rama understood the confusion of her mother and smiled. Seeing the innocent smile of her son, Kaushalya forgot about the surprising sight and was filled with affection for her baby. She carried him in her arms and fed milk to him. Rama's Childhood Lord Rama was being brought up in the palace of Dashrath along with Bharat, Shatrugan and Lakshman. He played many different games in the palace with Bharat, Shatrugan, Lakshman and other friends. One day, Dashrath called Rama to eat food 
while Rama was playing. But Rama did not leave his friends, although he heard his father's call. When Mother Kaushalya called him, he ran away to escape. Kaushalya also ran after Rama to catch him. She forcefully carried naughty Rama in her arms to feed him. Rama's body was all covered in dust as he played in the mud. Dashrath laughed at this lovely sight and made Rama sit on his lap. He began to feed him. While eating food, Rama ran away laughing whenever he got a chance. This way Rama entertained Ayodhya with his naughtiness. Since childhood, Lakshman had considered his elder brother Rama as his ultimate well-wisher and started leading his life in Rama's service, while Shatrugan started to lead his life in serving Bharat. This way, both the sons of Mother Sumitra were put in the service of their elder brothers. Mothers loved the sight of such pairs of their dear sons. Thanks for watching. Do like, share, subscribe to Sahil Book House.